Okay, very good morning, everyone, and welcome to the briefing on Saturday, the 25th of March. So first off, taking a look at the synoptic, uh, if we go back to the overnight chart, we can see it's uh, pretty colourful with this uh, pretty obvious no, uh, low pressure system to the north uh, with really quite tight uh, isobars. As we go ahead to midday today, there's slightly spacing out uh, and there's a sort of low pressure system slightly dissipating and moving away from us uh, and no sort of obvious frontal activity over the top. Um, we'll probably be starting off with westerly winds, <clears throat> but as this all moves to the east and these isobars curve around to the south, uh, we'll probably see the wind back a little bit sort of to the west, southwest, maybe the southwest. Looking ahead to tomorrow, uh, it depends on the exact positioning of this frontier. Um, if we're lucky enough for that to be out of the way, it should be flyable. Um, isobars becoming a little bit further apart and drawing in this northerly air, uh, probably going to be northeasterly tomorrow. And looking ahead to Monday, uh, we're in an area of high pressure and it's currently looking like quite a nice day. Uh, winds today, uh, pretty much 270 at about 25 to 35 knots, probably about 35 knots at flying height here. And the current sat pick is showing sort of varying amounts of cloud, um, the odd shower around, uh, but otherwise nothing too significant around us. And looking at the rain radar, we see there's sort of scatter bits around, but uh, nothing massive. Um, with that westerly wind, hoping this line here uh, might miss us, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Public forecast is suggesting little chance of rain, um, starting off cloudier uh, and getting a little bit sunnier into the afternoon. Um, pretty good visibility, low humidity, so cloud base should be fine. But the main issue we've got today is the wind. Uh, currently uh, suggesting 19 gusting 28 and increasing to about 30 and just over 30 through midday. Looks like from about one or two o'clock it's definitely going to reduce quite a lot so if it's not flyable this morning it definitely will be from about two o'clock uh, as that wind reduces so we should get sort of three or four hours in the afternoon at the very least. Looking at the uh, temperatures today looking at 11 or 12 degrees and a dew point of about seven, so a reasonable split there. <clears throat> and that's the current view outside. See some clouds developing already. Um, it's probably be the case most of the day. <clears throat> Cloud base doesn't look desperately high here, but um, I, I think it's good enough for one or 2,000 feet above Lasham. Uh, farmers' observations are currently 16 knots from the west-southwest with gusts of 29. Uh, with scatter clouds at 2,500 feet, broken clouds a little bit higher than that and showers in the vicinity. Uh, forecast is 20 knots from the west with gusts up to 30 knots uh, of scattered clouds at a height of two and a half thousand feet. And they've got a prop 30 here for uh, rain showers and other prop 30s for uh, broken clouds of 1400 feet and cumulonimbus with heavy rain showers. So we'll just have to keep an eye on the rain radar and see how this all develops. Uh, I'm hoping rain isn't going to be too much of an issue for us today, but I wouldn't be surprised to get the odd heavy downpour. Uh, top Meteo, uh, they're suggesting the potential for drizzle and a little bit of lower cloud all day. Uh, these little uh, green bits here. As we go to midday, that clears up and throughout the afternoon. Um, there's nothing sort of immediately around us. You can see sort of scattered showers around to the north. Um, but as I say, I think we should be mostly okay on the rain front. No times if we do go flying, none to affect the usual two here, uh, but nothing in the Lasham area. And operationally, uh, I haven't been notified of any jet movements today. When we go flying, we'll be on 2.7. It's quite likely that uh, due to the grass being quite wet, we're going to have to do the wet runway operation. So we'll have the launch point further forward here somewhere. Uh, with the cables on the south side. And with the west-southwest, we could probably have the winch most of the way back. So with the headwind, we should get pretty good launches still. Um, and it will be left-hand circuits to the runway and right-hand circuits onto the north side grass. I'm expecting it will be probably quite damp out there. So when we go, do go flying, we'll keep the gliders on the tarmac as much as we can. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, I'll come into the clubhouse. We'll discuss whether or not we're going to give it a go this morning. We'll see how many people we've got and who we've got to fly. Um, but it looks like it should definitely be good from about 2 p.m. onwards. So I'll see you on the airfield. Bye for now.